channel or if you guys are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video I am filming my Christmas home tour I have been meaning to get this filmed for you for quite some time but I finally got around to filming it I did take a little break off of YouTube I know most of you guys probably didn't notice but I was so busy with other things going on in life I wanted to go ahead and take a little break so I am back now and I'm so excited to share with you all of my Christmas decor. If you did miss any of my Christmas decorate with me's from this year, I will have them linked down below. I also did decorate my master bedroom for Christmas, which I did not include in this home tour. So if you do want to see how I decorated that, the link will also be in the description box down below. If you guys do not already follow me on Instagram, please make sure to do so. We are so close to 10,000 over there, which has been my goal for this year to hit. So please make sure to click the link down below if you are not already following me. I also have two giveaways going on, one to win one of my custom book stacks, and the second is a cash giveaway. So make sure to head on over there. All of the rules will be saved to my story highlights. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to this Christmas house tour. So starting at my front door, we have this lamb's ear wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are always 50% off if you just wait an extra week if it is not on sale. It's definitely worth to wait for the 50% off. And then on this wall, I have my typical sign from Hobby Lobby that is always there. And then I have this Christmas countdown sign that I got from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. Moving back over to the other side of the door, I have my usual key holder, my little post holder, and then I have this galvanized wall hanging vase that I got from Hobby Lobby as well with some cotton in it. And then we are going to pan over to my living room. This is my favorite part. I love where I put the Christmas tree this year. I did change things up and I took a part of my couch out so that I could fit the tree over here. And I really love the way that it turned out. Now, as you can see, I have a ton of presents under the tree here. I have actually wrapped all of my presents for this year and put them all under the tree already. So I am ahead of the game. I've had this done since the beginning of December. So I'm very proud of myself. My Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby. This is the second year that I've had it and I really, really like it. I did finally get a tree topper as well. This is the first year that I've ever had a tree topper on my Christmas tree. This one is from Target. It looks a little wonky right now. I need to fix it after this video, but I really like it. It's just kind of a twig star and it has a nice clip on the back of it that is attaching it to the tree. For my ornaments, I got them from Costco. I wanna say two or three years ago. They have a very neutral toned color scheme. There are some rose colors, some gold colors, and also some grays and silvers. I really love the way that it looks. I also picked up these ornaments right here from Walmart to kind of fill in the spaces along with these snowflakes that I got from Walmart as well. I wanted to show you guys our ornaments that we got this year. So my mom actually got me this this one, it says a first Christmas together 2020. And then my brother and sister-in-law actually got this one for us as well. It says our first Christmas together, Molly and Curtis 2020. Then we have our little bee right here. I absolutely love our new ornaments. They mean the absolute world to me, so I'm very happy to have them on the tree. And then my mom also gave me this ornament as well that I believe she got from Walmart. 
they have a ton of cute things at Walmart, so definitely check them out. Walmart has stepped up their game over the years. I will have my tree linked for you guys in the description box down below. It's really nice and convenient because all you do is just put the three pieces together and it automatically lights up. You don't have to plug anything together. Now moving over to my couch and coffee table area. I did go into detail in my Decorate With Me's where all of this is from, but I will quickly go over a few things. So my coffee table is from Facebook Marketplace. So unfortunately I cannot link that. Most of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. I got the table runner, the garland, these presents, and I did also get these picks from there as well. I got the clear vase from Kirkland's and then this is from Ashley Homestead. I will have a link to her shop in the description box down below. I really like the way that the coffee table came out. It's very simple but I think it is perfect for my decor this year. Now backing up, we're gonna go over my couch area. My little puppy decided to go and lay up there and be cute as ever. So the pillowcases that I use this year are actually from Amazon. They came in a four pack and I have three of them on my couch. So I have the Merry Christmas one with the Buffalo Check trees, Farm Fresh Christmas trees. This pillow right here is from Target. I have talked about it before. It is the most comfy and softest pillow you will ever feel. They have a bunch of different colors, so go and check them out if you haven't already. And then I have the Mistletoe Farms Christmas Trees Buffalo Check over here. These are also pillow covers. They're really soft. I've had them for around four months now and they've held up pretty well. You can obviously wash all of them. And then I have this redone blanket, a few other thorough blankets on the couch as well that are from Home Goods. And then moving over to my window pane right here in the middle, I decided to put this Mary sign from the dollar spot. I believe I got this two or three years ago. I thought that just added a little something. I like to keep my decor pretty simple. As you can see, I decorated with a little more green this year. I wanted to go ahead and incorporate some green into my decor, but nothing too much. So now that we have gone over the living room area, I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys over to this side where my TV is. I love this background from YouTube. It's so gorgeous. So I didn't do too much over here, but we'll go into the few things that I did do. So starting over here on my blanket ladder, I just have this gnome that I got from Marshalls, a home pillow, and then I went ahead and put the other pillowcase over here that says Mary and Bright in my magnolia basket. For the floating shelves over here, again, kept it pretty simple. Most of this stuff, with the exception of this cute little gnome over here, is from the Target dollar spot section. Now, panning down to my TV stand, I get a lot of questions on this as well, and I did pick it up from Home Goods, so unfortunately, I cannot link it for you guys, but I absolutely love it. So this stayed pretty simple. I just hung some stockings right here in the middle with some garland. These stockings are from Hobby Lobby and the Target dollar spot section. At the bottom of my TV stand, I put this Merry Christmas book stack with some Christmas trees on either side of it. I wanted to keep that pretty simple. And then right over here, I have two little gnomies that my mom got for me that I thought were absolutely adorable. I love this one's little beanie. For my TV background, I've told you guys before, but I like to have some Christmas backgrounds playing on the TV while I'm cleaning or things like that so that it just puts more of a cozy vibe in the house. Now moving over to the right side of my TV, I have these floating shelves that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love them so much. They have been the perfect addition to my living room. So this Christmas tree sign is from Hobby Lobby as well. This was really affordable. I think it was under $10. And then panning up to the first shelf, I got these candle holders from Big Lots. These little gnomes my parents got for me. I have no idea where they got them from, but I absolutely love them. And then my mom actually made me these Christmas tree wooden blocks and they are the best. 
For the top shelf, I have some ceramic Christmas trees from Big Lots, a Merry Christmas sign, and then these candle holders right over here are from Hobby Lobby as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys another view of my living room so you can see how everything looks. I really like this view. I do not enjoy how small my couch is with taking that extra piece out, but I think it just looks absolutely amazing for Christmas time. If you go back and watch my decorate with me or house tour from last year, let me know what setup you like better. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Now coming around to the kitchen area, this is what it looks like. I do have a mistletoe hanging right there in the entryway to go into the kitchen. So on my kitchen island, I have my infamous three-tiered stand that you guys absolutely love. I got this from Amazon. I have never gotten more questions on an item in my house. I will have this link down below for you guys. If you have been wanting this, do it. It is one of my favorite things to decorate for every season. A lot of the stuff that I use to decorate on this tiered stand is either from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or the Target Bullseye Playground area. I do also have some redone items on here as well. And then right next to the tiered stand, I have my DW candle and fresh cut pine. It smells absolutely heavenly. I love their candles so much. I will show you guys the back of this tiered stand once we go around the kitchen a little bit more, but we're gonna go ahead and head on over here. This side is pretty simple next to my fridge. I just have this cute little Santa that I picked up on sale one year at Target. And then I also have my wallflower plug-in as well. On top of my oven, I also have some decor. All of these things are from the Target Bullseye Playground a couple years ago. So I have a little red truck, a Christmas tree, and then this milk and cookie sign, which has been one of my favorites. And then down below, we have some Christmas towels that I also got from the Target Bullseye Playground area that says St. Nick's Tree Farm. Now moving over to one of my favorite areas in my kitchen. You guys love this area as well. This is the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf that so many of us have. So I did keep it simple again with this. I went ahead and put this Santa mini loaf pan right in the middle, and then I added these little Christmas trees that I got from Hobby Lobby to each side. I also have this wooded beaded garland from Hobby Lobby along with these cute little lights that I got from Target Bullseye Playground area. I did add these little greenery picks to each side to give it a little extra pop and then added this Christmas tree from the Target Bullseye Playground area. Next to the Hobby Lobby shelf, I have my two-tiered stand from Hive at Home. I've talked about them for so, so long. I do have a discount code for you guys if you are interested. I will have that link down below so you can save some money. They have the greatest tiered stands. So on this tiered stand, I just have some Ray Dunn items, that little gnome in the middle. And then I have two gnomes at the top. A lot of this stuff is from Target Bullseye Playground. And then panning over to my kitchen sink area, I don't really have much over here, but I did add a little something to my Keurig area. I got this little tree from Hobby Lobby last year. I got this Let It Snow mug at TJ Maxx and the gingerbread mug is from Target. And then right next to my little Keurig area, I have my pantry. This wreath is actually from Walmart. It was under $10, such a steal. I absolutely love how pretty this wreath looks. It looks a lot more expensive than $10, I can tell you that. I also wanted to quickly share with you guys what the other side of my tiered tray looks like. This is the other side, I kept it pretty simple, but I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. 
You will have to let me know whether you like the front or the back better. I think I personally like the front of it better, but I really love both sides. This thing is so much fun to decorate. Moving over to the right of the pantry is my little coffee bar area that I do every year. I actually added the gumdrops canister to the middle. So at the top here, I have this ho 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 sign from Michaels. I get a lot of questions about this sign every year and unfortunately it is not available anymore. The hot cocoa sign on the left is from the Target Bullseye and I actually added this birdhouse to the middle here instead of my reindeer snacks canister. The trees are from Hobby Lobby. I have a bunch of my Ray Dunn mugs hung right there. And then right here in the corner, I have my little hot cocoa set up. I have my marshmallow and peppermint cellar, my cocoa canister, and then my hot cocoa pot. These marshmallow mugs are from Amazon and I will have them linked down below. Right here in the middle, I put my gumdrops canister. I don't wanna keep it here and I'm actually going to end up selling this because I don't think I want it anymore but I went ahead and put it there for the time being. And then right here I have my Home Sweet Farmhouse book stack with some gnomes and this fake plant that I got from Target. Now panning down, I do have a towel hanging down from one of the drawers. This is from Target. I really love this towel. It is the homemade hot cocoa recipe. I really like the way that that looks just hanging there, especially with my cocoa bar being here. So here's an overview of what this little area of my kitchen looks like. Now turning you guys around to my kitchen table area. This is very, very simple. I did not do much this year, but I really like the way that it turned out. So I do have my dough bowl right here and I just added some greenery picks with a bunch of pine cones. I really love the way that this turned out. Super simple but absolutely gorgeous. Now I have gotten a lot of questions about my table runner in the past and unfortunately I cannot link it. I got it from Home Goods a couple years ago. I really love the detailing of it. I love the fringe detailing and all of the beading that's on it. Very unique and I love putting it on my table every single year. So right by my kitchen table, I have my floating shelves, which are some of my absolute favorites. So on the bottom shelf, I have my red Merry Christmas canister. This canister will always hold so many memories. This was my first really good find when I started hunting for Raid Dunn. These little marble trees next to it are from Big Lots. I have my Santa Post letters in the middle, and then I have my red Jingle Bells canister as well. These little Christmas hats and the Christmas trees that you see are from the Target Dollar Spot section. So for the top shelf, I have some items from Hobby Lobby. The trees on either side are both from Hobby Lobby. The chair in the middle is also from there. And then I have my Mary Birdhouse from Ray Dunn. The tree farm sign is from Target. And the little gnomes, I am not sure where those are from. My mom actually got those for me a couple years back. So this is an overview of what the floating shelves look like. I absolutely love them and I love them even more because I actually DIY'd them. So that is going to conclude my Christmas house tour. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an overview again so you can see my kitchen. I love Christmas time because of how cozy everything feels. I also forgot to tell you guys about my wreaths that sit right above my microwave. Those are both from the Target to Bullseye Playground. Surprise, surprise. Now overviewing my living room, which again, one of my favorite parts. So cozy. I will have everything linked down below for you that I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear what you think in the comments down below. I will also have my master bedroom decorate with me so you can see that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous.